A judge in Washington has not yet decided if Paul Manafort intentionally lied to federal prosecutors. The special counsel's office says Manafort's lies put him in violation of his plea deal with the special counsel. Manafort's lawyers claim he didn't lie, and Robert Mueller can't prove he did. Manafort pleaded guilty to counts of conspiracy to obstruct justice and conspiracy against the U.S. in September. But the Washington Post reports that a newly unsealed court document shows a new focus for the special counsel. Prosecutors are keying in on an August 2, 2016 meeting at a cigar club in New York City between Manafort, then campaign deputy Rick Gates, and Konstantin Kalimnik, a Russian political consultant. Rosalind Helderman is one of the journalists behind that article. She's a political investigations and enterprise reporter for The Washington Post. Rosalind, thanks so much for joining us. What do we know about what was discussed at this meeting? Yeah, we know from this new document, it's heavily redacted, so we have to kind of discern putting it together with other things we know, what exactly they're talking about. But it looks like the special counsel is looking at two issues that might have been discussed at that dinner meeting in August of 2016. One was a peace proposal for Ukraine uh, that Mr. Kalimnik brought with him from overseas to discuss with Paul Manafort. You have to keep in mind that uh, peace in Ukraine, it sounds like just peace, but in fact is a top uh, foreign policy goal for the Russian government. Uh, the other is the possibility that Mr. Manafort gave to Konstantin Kalimnik at this meeting uh, polling data, internal Trump campaign polling data, for some reason that's not entirely clear. Well, how does this meeting change the timeline of events for the Trump campaign in the summer of 2016? Well, it happens at a really critical moment. Uh, at Paul Manafort uh, ends up resigning a few weeks later, but at the time this meeting is still the, the chairman, the head of Donald Trump's campaign. But it comes just a few weeks after, you know, the notion that Russia might be interfering in the election kind of bursts into public view for kind of the first time with the publication by WikiLeaks of thousands of stolen Democratic emails. At the same time, it comes in a time period when Donald Trump has stepped up rhetoric on the campaign trail that was friendly to Russia, uh, talking about uh, his doubts of American commitment to NATO, talking about the possibility that Crimea, invaded by Russia in 2014, should actually remain a part of Russia, something Russia would very much like. And so uh, you have this sort of uh, uh, th things happening at the same time, Russia appearing to help the Trump campaign and the Trump campaign appearing to say things that Russia would like to hear. And so obviously what the special counsel has been trying to figure out is, was that just a coincidence or were those two things happening at the same time for a reason? And you write that this meeting is the fulcrum of Robert Mueller's investigation. Why is that? Well, a fulcrum, I think, I think we, we write, uh, and I think the, they tell us so in this hearing uh, in front of a judge. It was a sealed courtroom, but in the transcript that's been uh, released, uh, Andrew Weissman, a prosecutor in the special counsel's office, uh, says that what happens at this meeting goes very much to the heart of what the special counsel has been investigating, and he notes that this meeting itself is uh, very significant to the special counsel's office. All right, Rosalind Helderman. Rosalind, thanks very much. Thank you.